Hello everyone, I am Prussian Prince, uh, here with another Kaiserreich Let's Play episode uh, as the Fengchen government. Now, uh, we're doing pretty well here, but we'll see how uh, far we can get to this episode. But anyway, if you haven't done so already, do subscribe and hit that notification bell icon. It really helps me a lot. Anyway, let's get into it. So, already I've got chat... Um, my Twitch chat uh, saying things. So, Brandman135. Hello, back to you, sir. Anyway, let's uh, make sure that we are doing our decisions. Oh, we can actually continue our army reform. I didn't even think about it. Definitely continue the army reform. Anything else that we can do? Attack, 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 attack. Aren't we attacking someone already? Integrating Sishu. Okay, so. What we can do right now is we can definitely attack Sichuan Clique, right? Oh, I like how these are even on on map um, buttons, right? That's really cool. The decisions we could just decide to do them right like that, right? Okay, so anyway, what we're gonna be doing now is, hmm, attack. Well, we really want the Sichuan Clique, right? But in, no, we're actually gonna go for the integrations first. And then we'll see what we do next. For right now, it's looking very good. Uh, we don't want to expel the Japanese officers yet. We're going to expel them all once we've done what we need to do here. So here we are incorporating local patronage in networks. So we're going to need all of this. So it's going to be a while. Whoa, that's plus 5% reinforced rate. Not bad. Even the supply consumption as well. So, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to need all of this here. Centralized political revenues. Wow, okay, the consumer goods factories is awesome. Stability and more support debuff, not so good. Anyway, next one. So we're gonna do here... Uh, suppress the bandits, collect the harvest. Now this does. The last time uh, soldiers of the Feng Chen army entered the North China Plain, some units were encouraged to suppress banditry and assist in collection uh, Assisting collecting the seasonal harvest in return for lodgings and food. For such amenities were normally simply seized, these tactics seem to have ameliorated local unrest and partisan activity. All commanders would do well to follow this example. They would do well indeed. So, we're gonna keep building civilians, because... Why the hell not? I want 150 right now. <laughs> Go for 150 civs, everyone. Actually, I'm going to add more here. And I'm gonna add more to... Four this 40 percentile here any more 40 percenters don't think so oh there's a 60 percent one jing zhao holy moly yeah we need to work on that definitely most definitely did not realize that we have a 60 percent one we also have a, a, a 50 percent one here as well pretty cool did not notice it and a 60 percent here one zone so we'll do that next Okay, okay, so we have some decent, um, wait, 50%? Oh, nah, that's, uh, that's not possible. We do have some more integration possibilities. We're integrating Sichuan, we're gonna integrate Ma Clique. Then we're gonna integrate Shang Si as well. Um, oh wow, that, that was a, that was a long, uh, pause in the game. Yeah, time to integrate Shang Si and see what happens there. Party popularity, absolutely terrible, but... And what we're gonna do here, right, which is we're gonna be integrating them. We're not gaining that much uh, right now because of continuing the army reform. We're doing a lot, bunch of integrations at the same time, which basically means that you're not really gaining political power. But yeah, we're integrating all three. So once that is done, this should be pretty good. Uh, and let's see what chat's going. So Brandman135 says, Civ still 1940. Definitely Civ still 1940, we said that before, so we're gonna do it. That's not gonna hit, make us hit 150 though, unfortunately. Okay, so, Zhang Clique, um, how much influence do you have? That's fine, that's good for me, because, you know, you don't have that much, so increasing it is pretty good. Wow, the Concordia one went down a lot here. We have 118 Civs, but... I really want more and meanwhile Japan's here is sitting at I think they increased quite a bit. They didn't have that many civs before, did they? Interesting. 
Still, we have way more stuff than them. We never went to war economy, by the way. It's a bit sad, but... Yeah. That's what it is. We never had the political power. Okay, so we really, really need to be integrating them here. Yes, 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 the Claire Warren Rwanda. So there you go, these guys. Well, they stand no chance. They have 1 million 3 units versus... Yeah. Oh, Buganda's also here. They have more. Buganda? Buganda, Uganda. Okay. <laughs> Suppress the bandits, collect the harvest. Now that's done. We want to... Integrate occupied arsenals? No. No, 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 Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of sibs. Okay, so re restore the 1923 constitution. 1923 constitution was widely recognized as China's most modern. But the sheer corruption of Cao Kun's Zili clique made it its proclamation ring hollow and its implementation impossible. Since 1928, when Feng Qian was passed, uh, the torch of republicanism. <clears throat> the constitution has remained suspended due to strategic necessity. Time has come to restore the old constitution and resume elections. Go for it, my man. Definitely resume the elections. But we don't want to attack any of these yet. That's fine. We're just gonna go for the integrations, but we need to do s we need so much political power here. It's not even funny. Like, the amount of political power we need to spend on this. And we have... really need more civs here. We're gonna get to 1940, and we won't have as many civs as we like. I want 150 minimum, but I'm definitely going for 200 civs uh, right now as China. We're gonna get quite a few from integrating all of these, but it's not gonna put us to where we want to, unfortunately. Now, at least partial mob doesn't kill our... Uh, Civ factory construction speed, but you know, it would still be nice to have lower consumer goods from this one, so it's a bit unfortunate that we're not really getting that, but hey. Okay, there you go. We're still importing some steel. You know what? I mean, we can still import it, whatever. It's fine. Oh, we're actually missing some now again. It's okay. That is okay. This, this, this would make us a Wait, make it a core for us, which would be great, but no, we can't. But really, we really need to integrate them. You know, we integrated these guys here, which... Oh boy, that was really good. That was really good, but it wasn't enough. And we need to still integrate more of this, but, you know, this costs us a lot of daily political power, so I'm not going to touch it yet. I also want to attack all of these guys here, so we're going to go for Kumul Kanet. He's third... Oh, yeah, definitely want to attack these guys. So, yeah, no faction. Oh, these guys are at war, war with each other. Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to go kill the Kumul Khanate first, right? In terms of supply here, it's terrible, but that's okay. That's actually okay. 16 here. Can I add, like, oh boy. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Do it differently here. So these guys attack Mongolia, these guys attack Kumul Khanate, and that'll do, right? That will do. And actually, we have new troops anyway, so wait, wait, wait a second. Oh my god, we have a bunch of troops here. So these are the Bubingshi. Oh, of course. We actually inherited a lot of them, so to speak, so I don't want any of this. Want any of this? None of this, none of this, none of this. Oh no, we deleted. We deleted a very good template. That's not good. Hey, wait, over here? These are infantry template 3, Bubing Shi. We want the inf 20, so these are not. Um... Okay, this is inf template 3. This is Bubing Shi. All the boobing she will die. Um, militia, militia. Okay, we don't want any of these uh, either. So just delete them then. Just delete them. And now we're going to delete all of this because we don't care about them. And there you go. I got rid of some useless divisions. All right, do need some more infantry here. I'm gonna need uh, like eight more. 
the one stack and then we want to deploy like 24 more no idea why we're not actually recruiting them that's, that's a little bit weird actually but there we go we're doing that now i really want to attack these guys but actually okay attack the kumul Khanate. attack mongolia at the same time um, so Brandman135 says, no, just convert them unless you only want the equipment. So if I convert them, they're going to lose a lot of XP probably. So I just want to retrain new ones anyway. Don't care. Like, they, they, would, they might even become green, some of those templates. So, especially the... Um, which one is it? Especially the Mountaineer. I think we had a Mountaineer that would definitely become green. Anyway. The Song of the White Orchid. In the time since its initial release, the Montezu Film Association has put out several more films, which garnering some measure of attention and generally following the understandings agreed at its founding. The latest film, Song of the White Orchid, has attracted notable attention, however. <clears throat> this, the piece involves a romantic engagement between a Japanese man Kazuo Hasegawa and a Chinese woman, Li Xiang Lan, where Li leaves her lover through a misunderstanding and joins a bandit, a Manchu bandit group, plotting to sabotage the South Manchuria Railway. She later learns of the deliberate arrangement of this misunderstanding by the Beijing government spies, renews her faith in Hasegawa, and undermines the plot. Both, um, Protagonists seem clear allegories for their respective countries, and concerns have been raised. But the anti-Beijing government propaganda value is significant. The theme tune is just so catchy. Oh yes, that looks very good. So Tako Bling there, thank you for the follow. I'm much appreciated that we play mostly Hearts of Iron on this channel, but sometimes other games too. Anyway, there's some other things we can do here. We're already attacking Mongolia and the Kumul Khanate, so... This is gonna be good. These guys have like nothing. Mongolia also doesn't have much, so they're just gonna die here. We should be on. We are on aggressive, so that's very good. Just max out that aggression. Okay, here I would like to create another one, but nah, it's not gonna matter. Okay, so we got this division here. This is a booping sea. Why is. What? Oh. Okay, it's their units. Can we use that to... No, we can't. Okay, delete these, because we actually integrated the next one. That's that's what happened here. Oh my god. No. Don't do this. Don't do this. Whew. Okay, that, that actually messed up a lot of our plans. So there you go. Okay, one more day. There you go. That probably gave us new stuff. So delete them all. Now we have a lot more templates to delete again. Oh no, we deleted the motorized division, the template, whatever. Okay, now these guys here, delete, remake it again. We just had to remake it again because we integrated those guys. And that messed up the front line, but look at us. Now we look much bigger. Shandong click there, we can't really do anything, but that's okay. We also want to attack East Turkestan after we kill the Kumul Khanate. It's going to take a while. Uh, hey, Map Waifu, welcome to stream. Lula Reich. Yes. And Bitter Steel, thanks for the follow as well. Much appreciated. But let's see what we're gonna do here. We do want to attack East Turkestan, but we do need more troops for that. So it's gonna be a while till we get enough. Uh, put them there. I'm going to deploy them here. You're good, you see. Anyway, the war is gonna come soon, and oh, we actually don't have anything on the border over there. Interesting. So I'm going to actually add you guys over there. And yeah, totally forgot that there's actually stuff here. Okay, new event. Japan and Korea struggle with drought. Both Japan and Korea are experiencing sev uh, severe drought conditions, which we have fortunately been spared. Their economies and people now suffer, and some live on the brink of starvation. The Japanese government has informally asked that we take part in a program where we provide ri rice and millet to Korea, which in turn will provide rice to Japan. However, this plan is somewhat confounded by the overwhelming um, sorry, <clears throat> success of Mantetsu's soy agri agricultural initiative, 
which replaced vast tracts of rice plots with soy farming. As a result, we have nowhere near enough rice and millet to feed Korea, while our soy production remains key to our industry and national trade. Hmm. Oof. Got food shipments to Japan? No. Japan is on its own. Screw you, Japan. So Bitter Steel says, China and the surrounding area always looks like a giant mess in Kaiserreich. How are you finding it? Haven't touched that area yet. Well, so I only really started playing Kaiserreich with the new version, the new beta 0 0.10. And I started playing it um, only in China, basically. I, I've, I've already played as the Qing. I've also played as, um, as the League of Eight Provinces. And now we're, we started out as the Fengtian government, and we're now basically the Republic of China. But, what can I say about it? Hmm. Definitely, there's a lot of flavor in here. And you can see that a lot of hard work was put into this mod, and really, there's so much attention to detail, detail it's amazing. However, however, there are some downsides. A lot of events have typos, which I have mentioned before. Um, there are some seemingly bugs, some gl glitches here and there, a little bit strange ones. And then there's also... What else? Oh yeah, sometimes the performance is a little bit off. Like, I wonder if it's the mod or if it's just... Well, obviously it's the mod, but... Is it something they did specifically or is it just because there are a lot of nations in the world? that uh, sometimes cause you performance issues. Maybe they just have so many events that also that the game uh, can't really cope. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Traxium11 says, hey Prussian. Hey Traxium, uh, nice to see you around here. Dankus Mimikus says, um, Kaiserreich, hmm, yummy indeed. N yeah, not yummy indeed, buggy indeed. <laughs> So, we're doing a HFU game if you have time or want to. Well, I actually... So thanks for asking me to play, but... I don't wanna... First of all, like... I'm actually not playing Cars of Line 4 multiplayer that much anymore. I'm switching to... Meme single player, so to speak. I mean, not vanilla single player, maybe just for achievements, but modded is uh, very, very, uh, very fun just because of all the events and stuff. But no, I, I think I'm taking a stake, step back from uh, from multiplayer because it's just, it's always like, it always takes so long to set up. And if it fails, you waste so much of your time. Also, because if it's, if it's multiplayer, like you, I cannot pay that much attention to my chat because I'm focused on playing as well as I can. Which is... Which is what I'm supposed to do in that kind of game, but... It's not good for the chat experience because I can't look at them and... Look at the chat and respond to it. Uh, so, thank you. <laughs> in single player you can fix mistakes by going back to the last save. I mean, yes and no. I wouldn't do that though, because it's just... Single player is too easy to do that unless you really misclick something or fuck up something really badly. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I don't really care about the... Like... I don't really want to play Hearts of Iron 4 multiplayer anymore. Only like special cases like SVS or something maybe. But, I mean... It always takes so long to play, it may or may not fail. It's just... I don't want to sit there for five to six hours playing a game and sometimes um, not saying anything, anyone specific, but like sometimes you can be annoyed by people in voice chat or like you just don't want to hear anyone else, but you have to because you're part of a faction or whatever, whatever. It's just, yeah. Just no. And all the rehosts, all the lobby time. I'm kinda over it. <laughs> At least, like, for the most part. Alright, so we got another event here Imperial Fury. 
Infuriated, the Japanese government today issued a statement declaring an end to various function aid programs, including sectors such as research, industrial development, agricultural development, and military armament. The aid should return in some time, as the Japanese cannot afford to let us grow too weak, but until then, many functions of our state are crippled. What is this? Hard lesson. What is this? National spirit, Japanese aid cut. Is it so we should have aided them. Perfect time to strike. Say what now? Say what now? Absolutely not. It's a hard lesson. Ouch. Ouch indeed. Ouchies, ouchies. Well, that's not very nice of them. Alright, Dankus, see ya. Good luck, have fun. <laughs> oh my goodness, do you see how hard our economy got hit here? No, it's not time to attack them. And Big Mac 48 says, uh, um, Nom Nom Japan. No, not yet. I just want to attack these guys here. We don't even have that many troops anyway. We do have the equipment, but we didn't make the troops because we were, you know, we just took way too long with it. I'm gonna add more on support equipment. We have three military factories and I didn't even realize it. Um, okay, these will all need upgrading. Put four on artillery, put one more on support equipment. Restoring the constitution, yes. Revised rural reconstruction. The rural hinterland of China has been neglected for far too long. It's time to formulate the comprehensive plan to revive development in these areas in order to join them to the richer coastal areas and bridge the urban-rural divide. Nationally organized public works programs, including the construction of additional canals and railways, should give a boost to this development. Yes. Uh -huh. So yeah, there they go. A lot of good stuff here. Alsace ultimatum. Ooh. Well, we declare war on both of these guys at the same time, so we're just gonna go down here. Also, why is nobody moving in there? That would be awesome if they did. Wait a second. Second Weltkrieg. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's not important to us. Here's what I'm talking about. The once. As you can see, that there's a lot of different lag there, so that's not too good. These Turkestan guys are actually annoying us. We want to make sure that they don't get in before we do. To basically destroy these guys here. Also, what in the world is this? Please make, make it only up to that. Okay, can you just... No, oh, no, 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 you were doing the right thing here. Oh my god, there's there's way too much. I need to speed three of this because it's gonna lag too much. I don't. And there's some stutter and stuff. Not what I want to see. The fall of Moscow, what's going on here? Oh boy. Yeah, things are definitely happening in Europe. They're pretty heated over there. We do have some more research here. Just get the excavation. Why not? And why aren't you here? Oh my god, we actually did not apply the battle plan here. Now that's very sad. It is very sad that I didn't even notice that we did not apply it, but I mean, there we go. It's gonna get applied right now. These guys will just die. So, my wife who says Russia is having a heated gamer moment. Now, just look at these guys. They're just. just. having a nice little civil war here. Um, from the looks of things, Vladimir III Romanov is gonna win, although. This guy's on war economy, but again, he has like no civs, no militaries, no airplanes, no manpower, so I don't see how Soviet Russia can win this. Um, but we'll see, Russia's at war with... Nalash Orda is also beating the Turkestan Khanate from the looks of things, so I don't see how Russia is gonna win this. I like how there's like battles all across the front line here. That's insane. Okay. So our boys are pushing through here. We're gonna go to Dihua next. Dihua is gonna be ours. Oh yes, we got regimental combat teams, which is great. 
Also going down for 41 mediums, then we're gonna go 43 mediums, and then we're gonna get the modern tanks, because that's what we want here. And we are just fighting a lot here. The thing is, these guys have no chance, but it just takes a very long time. It really takes a very long time to deal with them here. So, okay, we managed to push up here. We're gonna push on further in. Can even take that if we want to. Also, why the hell are you moving in like this, right? Just go already. I don't like how the some of the tr troop movements really. That's it's not the greatest. Okay, just push into that. Thing is, our economy got screwed up really badly because of the Japanese aid cut. And oh my goodness, that actually it has no expiration date. How do we fix that? That's terrible. That is really terrible. Can we not... Can we just do gentlest, please? Thank you very much. I need my political power. That didn't seem to affect anything, though. That's weird. That is pretty weird, but anyway. I am two men. Grab this. Why aren't you attacking that? Please go attack that. Yeah. So, probably some focus decisions, says Matt Wife. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I thought. Should be somewhere over here at some point. But anyway, we don't care about that. We want to attack East Turkestan after this. I mean, we do care about that, but not right now. Mm. We'll see. But I didn't want to go to war with them. I want to finish my focus and expel Japanese officers and see if that does anything interesting, right? Before do going pure crazy with things. Okay, so I really need to push to Urga. We're gonna go there. I should probably push here as well. Um, now what I want to do is I want to grab the tank. That tank is absolutely a necessity. So here right now we are pushing up north. Dihua is... we're very close to getting Dihua. The Kumo Kanet might actually give up very soon. Let's see about that. But the good thing is we have officially cut off the... Kumo... Not Kumo Kanet, I mean... Wait, is it? You know, East Turkestan, my bad. Yeah, no, it's good. We're killing the Kumul Kanet. That is what we need to be doing. You guys are really doing some memory here. That's amazing. Decisions. The current motion will be voted on. Yeah, we actually don't really care about that. That's fine. Uh, I want to push that cab out of there. We did wipe out some divisions here, which is to be expected, but now I wanna... Wow, look, these guys are pushing really nicely here. What I like to see. We really wanna push into Urga though. These guys, what are they gonna get? Well, we actually want the computing. It's very important. Um... Yes, I'll check my focus trees after this... Focus tree after this war. Trying to attack us in here, but again, our divisions are a little bit too strong. We really want to go for the tanks, though. Oh no, Turkestan actually is over here and could actually deal... Put on a lot of pressure, I mean. From the west. That's not good. That's actually really not good, and I really don't like that. Our political power is just very bad right now. And it's not going to get much better until uh, we finish the... Wow, yeah, we didn't even finish the integration. So that's bad. We actually don't get any political power, basically. Wait, did are we? We, we yeah, we finished the integration and we don't get any political power. Hmm, that's not very good at all. That is very bad. Okay, I need quad and all of this stuff here as well. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna get Dihua here, and that's gonna make that's gonna do it for us be very good here. I think they're gonna give up after this Kumul Kanet. We'll see though if, if I'm gonna be correct or not. Now I do want to cut them off here again. I like the double double battles here. That's kind of funny. Okay so these guys are attacking me in here which is okay. Come on guys don't even bother with those. Oh of course they actually got assigned to that. Really? Okay. Here's the deal. Delete this. Re-add a new front line. Put it like that. You guys take that. 
And that should do it, actually. You take this. And we have a new focus. Totally forgot about that. Okay, so what are we gonna do now? Integrate occupied arsenals. Why not? Shenyang Arsenal is unquestionably the greatest in China, but by integrating and specializing newly seized arsenals, now as part of a national supply system, we may be able to ease the burden on Shenyang and improve our overall logistics capability. Sure. Wow, that's uh, that's gonna be a lot of guns that we can make here. Ooh, there you go. Little cannon. They call states. What? Hello? Oh, they even took a lot of stuff already. How? can't take anything my goodness look at this we can't even take that why are they gaining we literally did the war for them and now they're doing this to us well that's not that's not actually the worst I think cuz um, this might be a blessing in disguise of some sorts you think about it because now we have a bigger front line against them right so mm, okay we also need political power appoint Wang whatever just appoint him also what are you doing over here wait wait, wait. change this there we go okay now can we get the Mongolians out that will be the real question no we can't yet we just can't do it yet okay However, we are deploying new troops here, which should be excellent. Now, we need more support equipment. We definitely need more support equipment, actually. I'm gonna put all of those on support equipment. That's gonna be fine. We don't need the med that medium tank. We need this medium tank and then the better ones as well. We still don't have that many military factories, which is okay. Okay, can you guys just not die for once? Okay, we actually need that capital over there. That should be helpful. There's really no... Our finest hour. Okay, 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 okay. British politician and former Lord of the Admiralty, Winston Churchill, has published a new book, part of an emerging genre known as alternate history and concerning the Great War. I already read this before, but let's read it again. The story takes the perspective of a young British soldier returning from a victorious Gallipoli campaign made a world radically different from our own. In this timeline, Theodore Roosevelt and his Bull Moose party won the 1912 um, American presidential elections, leading to an American entry in the Welt Krieg and an untanned victory. Beated and partially occupied Germany is gripped by a constant economic and political crisis, witnesses the defeat of the Whites in the Russian Civil War, and is scooped by a bitter and extremely nationalist Adam Dressler. He leads the German Workers' Party, who followed the ideology of people's socialism, an extreme version of national populism. The novel ends with the beginning of a three-sided war between wrestlers New Reich, the Western Entente, led by the dominant British Empire, and the Soviet Russia, led by Sergei Kirov. The book has divided critics, with some praising its attention to detail, while others criticize it for large flaws in historical logic. Churchill has commented that something like this could have happened in another universe universe indeed okay so now these guys here we will get them on the next uh, one but yeah we really need more political power right now because this is not good this is not good at all <clears throat> yeah this is not what we want here <laughs> Ooh, we actually can't <sighs> Yeah, we can't even do all of this. No, we can do it this way. Ooh, okay. We can do part of these, but not all of them. Japan canceled the land lease. Of course they did. I hate how they cut their aid to us. That was that was a huge move for, from them that like messed us up completely. Our economy is just in tatters right now. I mean, just look at this. Japanese aid cut. Oof, oof, oof. That kills everything. Literally kills everything. Really need to fix it. I really need political power as well here. Man, that was so bad. What they did to us. 
That was so bad. And the legitimacy is really, really low as well. So that that hurts. Because we need we need manpower. Not manpower, but we need political power and we need tons of it. So yeah, okay, these guys are We're gonna go for moron. Yes, grab moron. And Mongolia actually has more troops than I anticipated, but that's not gonna do anything. I mean it's annoying, but it's not the end of the world, I mean. Also their troops are not that good. Um, so yeah, they're actually pretty darn terrible. Okay, now move on forward. Pretty sure we can push this, so that's fine. Really need those VPs there. Moron is gonna go to us, so that's a good thing. We definitely want Moron, and we want their capital. Why aren't we getting their capital here? Attack with one. Yep, multiple combat is going to kill them here. Why don't they no longer have multiple combat? Say what? Their penalty is dead. Gone. Not dead. Penalty cannot be dead. Okay, these guys are, interestingly enough, not part of that, but still. Okay, so these guys are four. These guys here are ten, but really, there's more of them. But yeah, okay. I'm not gonna give a, uh, anyone infantry leader and that sort of stuff, because I haven't decided who I want for tanks yet. This guy has seven attack. This guy is gonna be our tank guy. But maybe one two tank generals. No, this is not a tank general. Give him infantry expert. He's terrible. This guy is definitely a tank general though. So we're gonna wait till we get Panzer stuff. Yes, fall of Petograd. Don't care. Cool story, bro. We really need Urga here. Just take Urga at this point, really. Okay, so I'm going to stop you. I'm going to attack with you though. Push it into this, but looks like they actually pulled out of there. Interesting. They managed to get out of there. Cool. Cool for them. Okay, this is not working apparently, but that's alright. We really want to attack these guys though, but... Ugh. We're still integrating the occupied arsenals. Really gonna do a lot of this here. We need to fix it. Oof. Record industry will help a lot, but... Eh. Well, plus 20% stability and minus 10% consumer goods. Ooh, That's, Those are some huge buffs there, but we can only get them when we have everything from that line, so yeah. Come on, get Urga. And we got Mongolia. Hello, take old states. Boom. Boom, indeed. So now what I'm gonna do is, these are all boobing she's. Oh, they're all inf 20. Good. That's what we want. Reassign them, and we're gonna want political power, which you're getting more of right now. And then we're gonna go for we're gonna attack East Turkestan because that's the last one for the road to reclamation. Doesn't make sense though, is that there's Shandong click here, so we're gonna have to take them somehow. Because that's not good. We are technically not unified. And there's a lot of the There's these legation cities here. And there's the Shandong clique. So it's not ideal. I don't like that they actually own part of our stuff here. It's not good. Anyway, I am waiting for the political power here. And yeah, indeed we can wait. I don't want to put these guys on the border with Japan though. And actually only on, let's only put these guys on like Korea or something. That seems like a good bet. More unassigned divisions. Wait, really? Oh, those are only 23. That's okay. We're gonna deploy another one here. Add you guys here. I'm gonna need to get another general. Wow, look at this guy. Oh, he's a harsh leader. Wang Xuan Su. The thing is, yeah, the Karsh leader one? I don't know about that. Recovery rate is really bad. So, Zhang Sui Yang, substance abuser. Can we not get substance abuser? Wan Fulin. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely, yes, yes, yes. Does, he does not have negative uh, experience gain, so. He's excellent. He is excellent. This guy is six, so he has seven attack. It's good enough. I mean, more than good enough. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother uh, microing the construction queue. Okay, so we're about to get more stuff. 
Yes, give me integrate occupied arsenals. There we go. Very good. Now what we can do is we can crush file flies and capture pigs. Definitely. Corruption and abuse of power have run rampant throughout China over the past several decades. All levels of the Feng Chen government are complicit in this activity. In order to regain the public's trust, some measure of law and order must be restored. Examples will be made of both low-level flies and high-level pigs. I've been greedily gorging themselves on the nation's livelihood. Definitely start doing that, we need to fix it, and I really need to fix this Japanese aid cut thing. Oh boy, if that's not gonna be hard. Labor discipline, really? Prevents further labor unrest events. Ooh. Oh, that's really bad for 300 days. Oh, we get a new idea after it expires. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Army One Republic, the generals know best. Org or support. Org. Hmm. New command power, maximum command power. It looks to me like... I mean, is there any difference here? There is some difference, but... Thorough command reform. Oh, that gives a debuff. Both are plus 5% org. This one doesn't... One of them doesn't give war support, though, but... I don't know, I don't care. Yes, appoint some, some dude here. Don't care. Anyway. Really gonna attack these guys. I could make a... Ooh, wait a second. Wait a second here. These guys? Okay, I'm going to select like six of them. I'm going to put them on this border. I'm going to add it over there. Go there, my people. Strider deploy and you can get there. We actually have too much steel. <laughs> well, we don't have too much steel. I mean, we have too little steel. We have some convoys and we're getting quite a few a day, I think. The first of January, whatever. That's fine. Now we really need those guys there. I'm going to activate this battle plan. I'm also going to activate this battle plan, or battle plans rather. This guy here's 24 out of 30. I mean, good for him, right? The Japanese here, they have some troops. And ooh, okay, they're actually making some stronger troops now. Interesting. So we can't really attack with what we have, but once we have the tanks, we're going to start producing 41 tanks. That's what we're going to do. Unfortunately, we only have... Oh, wait a second. Light tank manufacturer. This actually affects armor. But obviously this one is just terrible, so I'm not even gonna bother with that one. Again, really need a lot of political power here. Like, a lot. Oh, why haven't we attacked Turkestan already? Now we, we're gonna go for it. It's 1940, we're still gonna build sibs because we didn't hit the 200 mark. <laughs> also, did some, we still have almost two lines, even with the eight cut thing. So, yeah. But that's not a lot that we have. Really, really need to fix the issues that we have here. The consumer goods factory is minus 10% here. That's going to be a huge help. It's going to give us so many factories here. It's going to kill this debuff partially. Like, how many are on consumer goods? There's a 62% of our number of civilian military factories to produce consumer goods. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <sighs> that is a crap ton of sips that are being used on that. Mostly because of, uh, yeah, only partial mo, backward industry, and Japanese aid cut. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That's very rough for us. What can I say? 19 days. I mean, this is, this is happening, so it's definitely happening. East Turkestan is just going to die and won't be an issue at all really really need to get this political power here and we really also need to use it to do some integrations and solidifying control oh wait 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 a second japanese aid returns apparently feeling that their lesson obedience is clear and punishing enough the japanese have resumed their aid should be careful about provoking them in the future and make sure not to push the concordia association too far out of the assembly before we're ready so we're gonna lose this debuff so we didn't need a focus or a decision it was just it's just like probably a mean time to happen thing and there we go we have all the aid the, the Japanese aid is massive like look at this well time to go for 200 sibs then boys 
That's what we're gonna go for it here. 160 sips. One, three, four, five, six, seven lines almost. Oh. Heartless. What is this? Infuriated, the Japanese government today issued a statement declaring end to various function aid programs. Including sectors such as research, industrial development, agricultural development, and military armament. The aid should return in some time as the Japanese cannot afford to let us grow too weak, but until then many of our many functions of our state are crippled. Um this looks like a bug, because we just received this, and we also got another huge boost to Concordia Association influence. Which is not good. Um, that definitely looks bugged there, like, the aid returns and then suddenly it... They remove it again? Say what? Yeah, that's, uh... That does look bugged. That totally looks bugged. Not how it should be working. Orda, so Big Mac 48 says, I'm oh, sure that would be a quick detour for factories. A lot of factories. Problem is, we'd have to go to war with Russia. <laughs> Not why this is bug or right. Yeah, there's, there's some bugs here and there, but this, this killed our political power again. It also gave us this huge debuff again. Um, and worst of all, well, not worst of all. Actually, not worst of all. We also gain more influence for Concordia Association. All of that is just beyond terrible. Yeah, these guys are allied with the Russia. They're in the Russian alliance. So, yeah. They're in their faction. So I don't want to go for Alash Orda. And I don't really know... If they were solo, I might have expanded to them. I don't even know how far I want to take this Let's Play, really speaking but that aid hang on a second is the aid gonna come back again and once it comes back we're gonna get screwed again is that what's gonna happen I have a feeling that might happen of course this guy literally fell ill as soon as the war started how what what kind of timing is that maybe maybe he got poisoned right that would be one one thing right, okay oh wow they they just got pushed back immediately I mean, this this should be easy, and no, don't go back at all, guys. What are you doing? Yes, take Hotan. Wait, we can't attack down there? There you go. How can we not enter that province? I don't understand. This also looks a little bit bugged. Wait a second, if I select these... Yeah, that's... Uh, I can't enter that, but there's... This isn't impassable terrain. What the hell? Anyway, next focus. Look at that later. At least I think we gained some stability back. But we definitely need to fix more stuff here. So, broaden the Bingzan network. The Feng Shui army has long been renowned for its outstanding system of logistics. Allowing the soldiers to receive regular rations and ammunition where others are forced to forage or steal from peasants. A key component in the system are Bingzan, or logistics depots, which must now be built in Recently conquered areas. Yay, we got something. Okay, add a fort here, so we definitely need to push hardcore through here. These guys are not on aggressive. Now you're on aggressive. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. We need Hotan, that's what we need. And we still can't attack it from here. I don't understand. So let's see, Ekerly is here. What's this? I just got work and have to cancel because apparently TPP decided to wake up and stream. <laughs> Don't cancel work. For me, no. I'm not worth canceling work. <laughs> also, I did stream recently as well. I've been streaming some Kaiserreich recently. And I think I'll stream more of it. Well, so Ergerlich, basically what's gonna happen is, I think... Normally I want to actually start streaming around this hour from now on. For a couple of hours. But yeah, anyway, you don't have to catch it, obviously you can watch the VOD if you want. Also, excellent, I'm getting some dropped frames, but not too many, so it should be fine. Now, look, we can finally move into the style. I don't know why, when we moved in from here, like... We couldn't already queue it up from here to there. That also seems like a bug. 
Although I wouldn't say the mods um, at fault here. I think that's um, probably the base Come game, on! just the mechanics of the game. Okay, so we're not making any political power because we got the glitch. Yes, appoint some dude here. Why not? Because we really need to drop the um, Cordia influence. In. And that actually didn't get dropped. Great. Well, not great. What is going on here? Okay, finally. I was about to say. Take it all. Yes. Excellent. Now we have another division here. Just quick deploy that. Add it here. These guys are there. Now these guys. We have finished the reclamation thingy. At least. We want to solidify control. But that's not gonna happen that fast. We need a lot of political power. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. I don't think I can do these integrations yet. There's no way. There's no way I can. Then we're gonna do reclaim the railways. We're gonna be able to do all of this too, which again is gonna drop our stability, which is not the best thing, but hey. We might wanna do go with this. Yeah, Institute Labor Discipline. Sounds pretty good to me. Unfortunately, we can't do any of this here, so that's a little bit sad. Oh my goodness, look at this. We'll gain national legitimacy. There's a lot of this stuff here, but we can't because Federalists did not support us in the conference. Very sad. And Song Jingling did not support us in the conference. Also very sad. So we can't do any of these, which would be... Actually, this wouldn't be that great because we'd gain consumer goods factories, which is worse than... Actually, no, 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 no. This one is pretty good because it increases the production efficiency cap. So, not too terrible. This also does... Oh, okay. So, this one would drop our stability for some days. That's okay. Well, it's not okay, but, you know. Hello, blue, white, red, zero, one. Uh, blue, white, red, zero, one says, I love how the goal of Kaiserreich and the second Weltkrieg is just to... Store World War One borders. Yes. But that's never our goal. Oh my god, what is going on here? United States of Greater Austria. Cool. I ain't got Romania, Serbia, Bulgaria, like this is one hell of a weird thing here. United States of Greater Austria. Okay. Russia is obviously Russia. I expected that to happen. Soviets don't really do much. And of course there's a Big ol' civil war in USA still. The Big Mac 48 says, I eat, eat delegation cities? Definitely something I'm considering, but I'm not entirely sure what if I would get attacked for doing so. We might try it. Okay, I'm going to do this, do this, do this. So I'm going to send like four over here. No, send like six over here. Send the next six over here. And then I want to send the next six over here. And then I want to send the next ones over here. And actually, the, why not send like three on... Uh, which one is it? Hong Kong. Yeah. Why not? And that's all they own. Eat the red Chinese state. Um, there's Shandong clique here. No, uh, I mean we can't do it via peacefully. I mean, I'm not sure if we can. If we can do it peacefully, want to do it? I'm not sure if we can though, because this, this is looking really weird here. Yeah, it's not ideal. Hmm. Discovery. Although neither made any public announcement, Mantetsu's research wing has communicated that the Quantum Army discovered its farming collaboration with our government, claim backed up by findings from our intelligence services. General Kekichi Ueda himself is said to have stormed into the office of Mantetsu President Yosuke Matsuoka and delivered a thunderous verbal barrage regarding the necessity to keep Feng Chian dependent upon Japanese aid. The Quantum Army's ability to punish Mantetsu is ultimately limited, as the powerful company is practically autonomous. There is little doubt that the army will go out of its way to make things difficult for everyone involved. Unfortunately, this will certainly be the end of this specific collaboration project with Mantetsu. Of course, we lose more political power, because why wouldn't we? 
I don't know, 614 says make some heavy tanks, then take an advantage uh, civil war. Which one? Because there's no more civil war in Russia. Also, we're gonna go for medium tanks and moderns because heavy tanks are pretty slow and uh, they have bad terrain uh, penalties. Okay, let's check this out. Encryption codes leaked. Although our encryption is by no means as advanced as that in the West, or even in Japan, nonetheless goes a long way to ensuring that vital information doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Unfortunately, Foreign Minister Wu seems to have mislaid his copy of our codebook while staying at the Pala Palace Hotel in Shanghai. Subsequently, much of our intelligence network and all of our encrypted communications are now compromised. While a new system could be implemented in short enough order in some countries, backward governance and the Northeast sheer size means that doing so could take over two months. Doing for office. Oof. No. Yes, remove him from office. The other one also gives too big of a debuff. What's going on here? Like, we're this massive and, you know, it's just not good enough. Okay, so we have this stack here. I totally want to attack the legation cities here. Come on. Okay, we can actually just justify on them when we have the political power, which is going to be a long time. Not going to get it uh, for a very long time here. Although, all of this stuff is going to give us a lot of political power, so... But I do want to do all of this first, so we'll see how far we can get with this. We're going to read the other focuses that we can't do anyway, I think. Just because... <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, Broden, the Bingzan network happened. Reclaim the railways. Mostly built by Western hands, or at the very least funded by foreign capital, China's railways have always been seen as a symbol of imperialism. Many are still owned in part by the same American or European corporations which built them. Time has come to formally reclaim these railways and solidify the central government's control over its own rail network, no matter the cost. Well, I really wish I had more political power than what I have right now. It's a very sad state of affairs that we actually didn't give Japan what they needed, because... Yeah, look at them, they have 88% stability. But we don't have even close to as much. Okay, please give me all the political power that we need here. Because we totally need more political power. So there are these guys here. Come on. This isn't, this just isn't good. We do have uh, a lot of the stuff here. We didn't build any fighters, but... Oh, that's actually a mistake. I totally forgot about fighter production. So Blue, White, Red, Zero, One followed. Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. We play mostly Hearts of Iron 4 on this channel, but I'm going to be streaming some Total War as well, depending. We do want to reclaim the railways for sure here. We're getting a bunch of stuff here. Uh, lots of infantry equipment. We still need more to upgrade. Got a lot in the, in the stockpile though, but it's good. It's actually good that we do. Okay, now I'm going to create all of these. Only one, no, nope, only one here too. Let's deploy some there, deploy some here. And that should make a full field marshal stack here. And we have no more manpower. But luckily we're only on limited. We could up to extensive uh, at some point. Yes, definitely. War games uh, are very fun. My favorite uh, type of game, anyway. What I totally don't like is MOBA <laughs> games. I mean, I tried them out in the past, but just couldn't play mobile. I also am not a big fan of consoles because, I don't know, I just like the customizability of PCs. You can do many different things with them. And I do did also do also like building my own PC. So, yeah, okay, we need to. Is this the same guy? Yes. Point blue. Raid Shadow Legends. I don't even know what that is. Sorry, blue, white, red. And there's some games that are okay in my opinion, anyway. But I mean, whatever floats everyone's boat, right? I mean, okay, games on mobile, but, you know. I don't have to like what others 
people like, so it's fine. Yo, good, you say? I usually hate something that has loot box mechanics. Oh, it's this <laughs> Shadow Rage Shadow Legends is a meme of a game. Okay, understandable. I mean, it doesn't. Based on the name, it seem, seems a little bit weird already to me. Okay, we're really lacking a lot of support equipment. That's not very good. Okay, we really need to do more integrations here. But with what political power? We have none. Mantetsu influence is going up and up, which means we don't have political power. Like, we need to drop that influence by spending more power and stuff. But anyway. Yeah, we're gonna start doing a bunch of this stuff. Oh, negative stability. I don't know about that. Hmm. We're gonna go for this one, probably. And then we're gonna do one army, one republic. Ultimatum. Hmm. No. I mean, we, we don't want to do the ultimatum, right? So... A Japanese protest. Of course. Of course that would happen. Just no. There's a lot of good stuff in here, to be honest. But mm. Ooh. Yeah, I kinda wish I would I wanna go that side as well, but mm. We're gonna be able to get it eventually. Oh my, look at all these sieves going up here. Very nice. Okay, so now we have... Yes, current motion will be voted on, don't care. Discovery! <clears throat> yeah, didn't we already read this? Yeah. It's more negative political power, great. Minus 65. Excellent. Felix says, so Kaiserite got an update with the AOC and now there is no more AOC. You mean AOG? Um, no war with Japan soon, I think. Uh, maybe... I don't know if... If I do a war with Japan right now... The problem is, it's gonna block a lot of the... Isn't it gonna block a lot of the focuses? I don't know. I don't feel like I don't want to... I want to still want to do focuses, right? Anyway. Centralized provincial revenues. Perhaps the greatest source of disunity in China has been the decentralization of the tax system, begun with the introduction of provincial Lijin transit tariffs in 1853. The new central government must limit provincial taxation and reduce the percentage local authorities may keep for themselves. Otherwise, local governments will continue to deny the nation revenue. Okay. Output is good, consumer goods is good, but obviously the other stuff is terrible. And we're gonna go for this. Ultimatum we'll do eventually, but not right now. We want to do a lot more focuses. So yeah. Definitely want to do a lot more focuses. I think after we're done with this side here... What we're gonna go for is for the new model army. And then we'll see. We will see. There's a bunch of railways here, but... Mm. This is not very good. I mean, I don't know what it does. It doesn't tell me what, like, reclaiming railways would do here. Anyway, we actually should read this, so... Northeast has more railways than any other region of China, but the most important are owned and maintained by Mantetsu on behalf of the Japanese government. The National Transportation Commission wants to expand the smaller Chinese-owned network to improve our infrastructure, but more importantly, to reduce our strategic reliance on the Japanese. Sounds like a good plan. Anyway, it's gonna be enough for YouTube, so thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on social media, and I'll see you all next time.